No, I just like the effect. Cogito is quite individual, even though we are six, but every character is quite individual. And so, of course, three years past, you have different experiences in life, and then you try to use them, or it's, it's rare when, when someone changes opinion on something that they are very strict about, I don't know. I hate strawberry, and then in three years, I, I like it, so it's not like that. But I experienced also things in life that makes it easier for me to perform cogito. Especially, well, you see, this is something I never said to the audience. It's not written anywhere that the show is about depression and how you deal with depression. So there was COVID, there was uh, sicknesses, death, uh, weddings, uh, funerals. So all this then can end up on stage. So it's this, the concept didn't change, it's just the people in it did, and um, we grow every day, not two days are the same. Yes. So I was probably four, five, six years old when my father came to me. It was, I don't remember the situation. Anyway, his reaction was, cogito ergo sum. And I was like, what? And then he said, gondolkodom tehát vagyok. And that stayed in me so much. I never dealt with it. It was like he would say it. He, it, was, it was a sort of thing he would say to me. And that, 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 at that time, it would make me think and, and think about it. What does it mean? And, and uh, I think, therefore, I am. And it was, it was a little bit abstract to me and funny. And, I didn't put much weight on it. And then I asked for the possibilities so I could work with the whole company, use the theater, our great technicians and uh, everything around it. And sitting in Eger in my hometown in a bar drinking uh, weed beer, it came to me, <laughs> it's cogito. Of course it's cogito, finally I can. And then it made me think more and more and more, uh, and it put me in. And of course, uh, Google is my best friend then, and I was searching about Descartes a lot and uh, finding books. So I found the book, uh, actually his, his collection of stuff that then he sent to his that time colleagues on reflection. So he had a lot of questions, he had a lot of theories, and I was reading all that dry, raw, philosophical text that was making me headaches. But it put me in a certain um, place. And I was dealing apparently with questions and questions and questions just like he did. So it was, it was these reflections on the car. Well, I grew up in a theater. I was 10 years old when I started working in the theater of my hometown. So in my whole life, I wanted to be in a theater, be with actors or, or artists and be in this, this church of art uh, all my life. And I was thinking that I have six people and what should I do? Who, who should these people be? I don't want that it's them, that it's, it's us dancers, because we always do that. As dancers, we put ourselves on stage, and of course, you, you get a certain character through a dance performance, but not such a specific thing like in, in Cogito. And so I was searching a coherent six people, how, how it could be done. Then I came to the idea that actually, I would like that these six people are one. How could I do that? Then I remembered Shakespeare, and the whole world is a stage where they, when he explains right from childhood to the death, all the different qualities. And I came, sorry for saying fuck, but I, it's there. Uh, that we are one people, we are one person, 
and we are just in different uh, time of our lives. And how interesting that is through depression, like I needed to put a problem that everyone is dealing with, and it was depression. So how a child deals with it, how uh, a soldier deals with it, uh, and that I found really interesting. I also wanted that, that these uh, characters are a bit of challenge for everyone. No one would get the character that they are the closest to, but something they have deep inside that I really, really want that they open that door and go there. So yes, in the original cast, um, Luke was the child and he was the oldest person. So that was quite clear that I want him to be the youngest character, which is all, also one of the hardest ones to do because you quickly end up being just a toddler, but I didn't want that. So with his experience, um, we, we opened the performance with that solo and I really need that, needed that to be strong. And when he was gone, we got Davide, that is the, the youngest. And I said, there is no way I let him do the child because it's just too close. So I, I, I changed it and I, I made um, Mattia do the child and Davide do the soldier. Me coming from a, a huge existential crisis, uh, I had those questions for myself. And um, it is not my idea to, cr to create or, or help create characters uh, through a questionnaire like this. Uh, we worked with an Italian choreographer that gave us a questionnaire with a ridiculous question like, have you ever been arrested? Or have you ever done drugs? Or what's your weirdest sex experience? And then, you know, you have these, these weird questions that you try to answer and that in that performance we were superheroes and that, that it helps you a lot. And so I decided since we are dealing with depression, I am going to give them my existential questions. I got for myself to be helped to get out of that deep hole. And it also for them, it was the first to do that. And the questions are more important than the, the answers, which is weird because in the show, you don't hear the questions. <laughs> I didn't answer any of those questions. I was talking about myself.